Welcome to a LEGO bootleg Marvel set from XINH. This is set number 0180. On the left hand side here we have uh, Odin, we have K. Silius, uh, Netflix version of Daredevil and Punisher. We have comic book version of the Shocker. I think that's the Shocker. Uh, Spider-Man Homecoming soon. I'm going to compare this with the Deku and the DLP version. And we have the two other thieves that were not released by LEGO. Uh, this is the Thor thief and the Iron Man thief. So, they have some assault rifles here. This one's got a scope. This one's like just like an AK thing, maybe. Spider-Man has one of those little hand shooter thingies and a big soft, like rubbery web. So how well does this shooter thingy work? And um, nope, oh, that didn't work. Sometimes these don't work anyway. Let's try that one more time. Give it the benefit of the doubt. Let's see if it how well it does. Oh, that actually fired pretty well, so that one actually works. Uh, two transparent ones here for the shocker. It also has this little pack, rubbery pack strap, soft rubbery pack strap. Another scope rifle for the Punisher. Two sticks for the Daredevil, and a transparent, really soft material sword for Caecilius. Uh, based on whatever custom the people are doing online, it also seems to have this sword as well. And a giant staff and cape, which is made out of um, soft material, furry on one side, for Odin. Beginning on the left here we have Olden, uh, now I here have a previous Olden figure from a previous set, I can't remember which one, but uh, yeah, this one's just pretty much just a re slightly recolored, repainted version of Fall's body and just came up, some reason gave him metallic uh, beard. So yeah, he's, he's going and I'm keeping this one. This one, this Olden is a much better figure, it actually has a proper design and it goes printed down all the way to the feet, so that's pretty cool. He does have a back face print, but unfortunately quality control smudged up the mouth, so that's annoying, so yeah, it's good. And then we have uh, Cassilian here from uh, Doctor Strange, he was not released in any LEGO set. So this figure's picking up the slack, because in the uh, actual LEGO set you got Doctor Strange, you got uh, the Ancient One, and you got, I um, forgot his name, the, the, the guy that trains him. Uh, so you got the three main characters and some Cthulhu monster coming through the wall, which does not happen in the movie. Uh, but we don't actually have the main villain. <laughs> and uh, so now there's a figure of him. And he's printed very, very nicely. He's got the weird sort of eyeshadowy makeup thing going on. And uh, his, his feet are not dual molded. They're just printed over. But uh, they've done a pretty good job printing this. And they've given him the correct uh, hair piece. He does have regular face underneath. So that's pretty cool. So before and after. Daredevil here, once again, this was also been produced by previous lines. I think the previous one I have is a Pogo figure. And just the overall quality, overall design, overall print job is much nicer on this one. So goodbye this one too. I'm keeping this new one. Um, yeah, Gumpy look, very nice suit painting. And there's actually some dotted textures here. Don't you see that in the video to uh, give it that um, sort of modern suit design look to it. Side arm printing is pretty nice, and uh, no back leg print, but it gets the job done. This one's a pretty good figure. Punisher here, uh, again, I do have a previous Punisher figure from a different way, but I think they're both different enough, like one's a season one, or, or one's Punisher season, one's actual look of him. So I'm going to keep both. Uh, I like this one uh, a lot as well, just the whole sort of jacket, like a long jacket design is pretty nice. No, he does have a black eye here, and he doesn't have a good face, so that's a little bit annoying. It would have been nice if he had a proper uh, face on the back as well, but he doesn't have that, so that kind of sucks. Uh, Spider-Man Homecoming suit. Now, he's actually dual molded. Just a quick look at the back there, you can see he's double molded. Again, no hood down piece, but does have a hood up piece. So we just remove that. Uh, his overall coloring feels a little bit undersaturated, like a little bit grayed, grayed out and stuff. Uh, his arm piercing also doesn't have any metallic colouring, but um, just for the dual molded legs alone, that's pretty awesome. So if you were to compare this with the Deku and DLP one, uh, this hood's pretty nice. I think the overall quality, this one does win out, and the overall detail does win out. But I do wish that uh, these greyish blue colours weren't such so sort of dark. But still, I think uh, my preferred one now would be this one, just because of the dual coloured uh, molding in the legs and probably maybe give this hood piece to him uh, as a spare accessory that would work out pretty well Next up we have the two V's and the shocker uh, comic book shocker uh, The two V's look 
good enough. I don't expect them to look super detailed because they're like little minor characters and they have basic print on the back, no hair pieces or whatever, but they get the job done. And if you do have the Spider-Man set with the other two Vs, definitely pick this one up and just add these two to it. This is a very much a filler set. Because uh, you've got Cassidian to fill in your Doctor Strange set if you feel like there's something missing there. And of course, finally, you have the Shocker, which is done very nicely. The, the print is sharp, it's detailed, uh, very clean looking, nice arm printing, and basic back print that gets the job done. This feels like I don't know who they copied this from, but this feels like something that uh, would have come from official LEGO if LEGO ever produced a comic book version of this character. This is a pretty decent set, it's got high quality figures right here, the overall plastic and clutch is also pretty nice as well. If you have any of the official LEGO sets, this is also a nice set to pick up just to round up the characters, Cassidian, the Thieves, as well as uh, the Spider-Man homemade suit, and Odin. These are all figures that would fit right into those official LEGO sets that are missing these characters. And of course, it's very nice to uh, fill up the number to eight with the Netflix Punisher and Daredevil, which are both also high quality done figurines. Uh, just not too happy with Punisher only having one face with a black eye. Would have been nice if he had the dual face like all the other ones, but uh, and of course Odin had a little bit of uh, quality control problem. That's a little bit annoying, but I can live with that. Subscribe, suggest, and comment below. Of course, take care and have a nice day. I will see you guys soon. Bye bye now.